Okay, so we want to calculate the horizontal force needed to lift the wheel just over the step. And we were given um, that the step's height is just h. And that the radius of the circle is given by r. Uh, so we're going to use a little bit of torque here. And for that, we need to find the moment arm for each force. So we have the force of the weight in a downward direction and we have the force in the horizontal uh, direction and that means that we need to find a point of rotation so in this case the only point of rotation that we need is really the center right there so if I draw a perpendicular line from this force to that point uh, I'll just do a, a dotted line dotted line like this and uh, the same thing for the force we need a dotted line upward right there perpendicular to that force and we need to calculate what is this distance here uh, from the point of uh, rotation to the force F and what is the distance from this same point to the weight uh, for that we have to apply a little bit of geometry uh, we know that the radius from the center to the edge here is r. So that means that if I subtract um, r, rather if I subtract h from r, so we're going to get r minus h for this distance here. And um, by using a little bit of a Pythagorean theorem, I need to calculate this height right here, or rather, this length right here. From here to here, I know that this is this right here, the height of the triangle, this is the right triangle there, is r minus h. And then from here to here, again, that's r. Let me put that in a different color here. Um, try green. So this distance, this this right here will be r. Okay, so if I were to calculate this, this distance, this distance here, I'll call it a for now. So that means that a squared plus this height here would be r minus h squared, and that's equal to the radius squared. Uh, and that's just simply Pythagorean theorem. And then I'm going to call, and I'm going to solve for a squared which gives us r squared minus r minus h quantity squared. And then if I take the square root of both sides, we know we get a equals the square root r squared minus r minus h quantity squared. Technically, we would get plus or minus, but since this is a real problem with real distance, we ignore the negative. So we have then that the distance from here to here, it's uh, the square root of r squared minus quantity r minus h squared. So we have a moment arm for the weight. So we say that the w or the weight multiplied by the moment arm here a, or in this case, the square root of r, r square root of r squared minus quantity r minus h squared is equal to <coughs> the force multiplied by its moment arm, which in this case is simply r minus h. And since we are looking for the force, we just simply divide both sides by by the way, put a parenthesis here to make it look better. Divide both sides by r minus h, like so. r minus h, canceling that. So f then becomes the weight, the magnitude of the weight, multiplied by the square root of r squared minus quantity r minus h squared divided everything by 
r minus h and this would be the force required to tip over this wheel just over the step right here.